Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Muhammad Ali, CEO of Core Gems, and I am ecstatic to present this absolutely magnificent, vivid green, imperial green, jadeite jade, cabochon carving set in solid 18 karat white gold. It is so absurdly gorgeous. It is, it is so beautiful, it's hard to put into words. The transparency of the stone, you can see right through it when the light hits it just right. And at that point, uh, you can see all the tiny little inclusions, which are very minor. It's a very, uh, it's a translucent stone, um, but you get a lot of light shining through. See there? It is so pretty. Absolutely no spots that are too dark or too opaque. Not at all. Abs look at that. Perfect, vivid, emerald green. This is what is considered imperial jade in the trade. On the report, it says omphasite jade. Um, those who aren't familiar with omphasite jade, sorry, omph omphasite. Um, uh, basically, if you're new to jade, you may not have heard of it. Uh, omphasite jade is gemologically, for the purposes of testing with standard gemological equipment, the same as jadeite. However, uh, in terms of actual mineralogy, there are differences. This is why GIA uh, distinguishes the two, but most laboratories in the world do not. And the reason is uh, they're nearly identical, very, very close. It's like uh, comparing um, a pink sapphire to a blue sapphire. It's it's very, very close, um, very, diff very, very minor differences in the chemical composition. If you're interested, um, the GIA report has a link where you can go ahead and uh, read a lot more on the nomenclature behind the, behind the two. But for the purposes of trade, according to the Hong Kong Jade and Stone Laboratory, uh, Omphasite Jade and Jadeite are both adequately considered uh, Jadeite uh, for uh, jewelry and gem purposes. Now, getting back to this stone, getting back to this beautiful necklace, actually it's a full necklace. So you're getting a 18 karat gold uh, necklace, um, pendant and chain, um, rhodium plated. I would recommend getting the back polished up because I've seen, I've shown it to so many buyers now. It's had a lot of interest. Uh, a lot of people have been looking at it and then uh, they come out with this gem light here and uh, put the gem light on it and it tends to get scratched up. But there's a reason they want to use the gem light, right? Because it shows you under the three different lights that um, every gem should be looked under. So firstly, that bright white LED, uh, plain white light. Uh, white light, um, as you know, because it contains all the colors, is really the best for uh, looking at a stone's true color. And it, uh, then we have uh, the yellow light here, which much better replicates sunlight. And Stone is stunning in both. The color doesn't really change much. If anything, I would say the translucency is a bit higher when it comes to the yellow light. And then, of course, since it is untreated, natural, grade A, no polymer, no dye, uh, jade, you are not getting any fluorescence either. I, I just can't say enough good things about this uh, amazing, amazing pendant. Please watch the entire video. Uh, I will include footage of the stone under very dim light, under very bright light, under a huge variety. Uh, so watch the entire video, check out all the pictures because uh, you want to have a great idea of what the stone is going to be like before you take it home. And we provide you an abundance, abundance of pictures and videos for you to be able to assess that very, very high quality. Um, I don't think there's very many sellers uh, who are uh, competing with our new uh, photography system. I had to hire professionals to come in and set this all up and I think it's it's really paid off because you are seeing... Um, the quality, uh, because at the end of the day, it's all about delivering value to the customer and the customer gets value when they can see exactly what their stone is going to be like before they get it home. Gemstones are by far the hardest thing to, uh, to uh, photograph and to video in the world um, because, you know, one little angle change, one little uh, light bulb change and the entire color changes. For example, I just turned off the yellow light in this uh, gem light box. Stone looks very different. It looks a lot dimmer, but it looks a lot greener as well. Now we go to the, this is just the base light. And again, 
translucency goes down, but the green goes up, and you're seeing it still looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And if I turn off this light as well, camera will need a second to adjust. This is how the stone will look if you're sitting in an office with uh, absolutely no lights on, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. You still get that translucency. You still get that vivid imperial green. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times, uh, jadeite will have a strong bluish tone. You don't have that at all. Not at all. I have another stone listed. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, stunning, stunning, stunning jadeite jade. But because of that hint of blue, it is half the price of this one, despite being considerably larger. That's how uh, important color is when it comes to jade. It's everything. Absolutely spectacular, beautiful, true imperial green jadeite jade. I'll turn the light down even more, and then I'll finish with a pen light uh, shining directly on the stone. So now we're going to look at the stone under very dim lights. So this is just one single light bulb on for the entire room. See, it's quite dim, but the stone still looks beautiful, still has translucency, and still has excellent color. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Now I'm going to turn it down to, the, now there are no lights on in the room. All you're getting is a little bit of light filtering through the blinds. Um, it is early morning here. The sun is not really up. It's a cloudy day, and it's it's a very, very dim room, but if I can get it to focus there, absolutely beautiful and stunning still. Okay, and as I mentioned, finish off with this nice bright light. Give the camera a second to adjust. Look at that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stone. So, so gorgeous. Superb translucency, emerald green color, grass green, perfect green color. I'm in love with this. This is by far my favorite jade that I've ever owned. Um, I don't want to sell it, but the only thing I love more than jade is my customers, you know? Look at that. Absolutely superb. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your interest in this beautiful, beautiful stone. Uh, best of luck to everyone who's interested. I uh, will be accepting offers and possibly offering it at no reserve price. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, our cost is very high on such an exceptional gem, getting the GIA report, uh, solid 18 karat gold setting, uh, of course, jade being extremely expensive itself. Um, but you never know with us. We've put up very, very expensive gems at auction. We've lost a lot of money, but it's brought us customers who uh, continue to buy and continue to buy at at uh, regular prices, so it might be a worthwhile marketing strategy for us, but at the end of the day, it's all about making the customer happy. And I think we've uh, proved that with five stars on Etsy, 100% positive feedback on Gemrock Auctions, 100% positive feedback on Catawiki. Thank you so much for your interest. Um, one last thing about Core Gems, 60 day, any reason returns. If you're not happy, of course you're gonna be happy, but if you're not happy for any reason, We'll take it back. We will pay for return shipping. That's how confident we are that you're going to love our stones. All right. Thank you so much and have a great day.